Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. Today, find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA and Stochastic RSI show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. By taking a look at the hourly time frame for IOTA, the price moved up with around 3.3% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 21.9 cents. But the volume wasn't very high so the move wasn't very strong. Jumping to the simple moving average, or short SMA, it is calculated by summing up the close prices for a certain amount of candles and then dividing it by the number of the candles. We use usually the last 20, 50, 100 and 200 candles to calculate the different SMAs. The SMA lines could be used to determine if a trend is currently to the downside or upside. The SMA lines could also show support and resistance levels and breaking one of them could signal trend to the corresponding direction. Now looking at the current hourly simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 200 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 21.8 cents. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is above the hourly ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 21.2 cents. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the support should be considered. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 100 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 21.8 cents it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 22.5 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went above the three hourly ribbon, so it is to see if the price will dip back below the ribbon or it will play as a support to the downside currently at around 21.5 cents. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 21.6 cents it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 22.2 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is in the daily ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 21.3 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. 
Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. Next time.